won't shift them one by one, but instead we will draw this box and all of them are selected and we remove them like this. It's very easy, very fast. Okay, now we will change the size of this one and make it something like this. Okay, now it's compact. Or you might want to change the color of the foam. And this one, we will go to the back color again. Custom, oh, let's select this one. Gosh, this one is very bad. Let's select something a little bit, yeah. Well, I'm not, well, I think uh, my taste a little bit bad. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Anyway, so uh, one last thing we forget to disable this button, the maximize button. And for the form, if you search it, you will find there is a property called maximize box and it's set to true you just change it to false and if you check your calculator you will find that uh, the button is disabled so what do we have to do now just pressing K and we'll get our calculator we cannot change the size we cannot maximize it but it's working perfectly fine 326 minus 26 equals of course 300 divided by 2 and multiplied it by 3 and there you go it's working so what we have learned today is how to work with our form and change its uh, properties and how to work with text boxes and how the text property for the text box is very important and how to change if, if uh, the read only things like that how to write handlers for for the events of the buttons right here okay the next tutorial will be focused more on to uh, other controls like uh, the label control like the uh, dialog control which is a little bit important to work with and uh, a few other issues uh, if you want to uh, source code or a PDF of this tutorial please check the website the link is available to the right and if you have any comments or any suggestions to make this tutorial better uh, uh, please uh, write me, I'll be happy to uh, listen to what you say and uh, hopefully you'll find this one useful. So have a nice day and goodbye.